<laughs> beautiful, beautiful. Yes. Yes. Oh, good, thanks. Why did everything reset? That's so bizarre. Okay. I think we're good, though. This is very, this is very cozy. I can, I can totally just chill with the intro for a little bit. But, now the question is, will people be interested? We shall see. Might just throw another tweet about it. what it is you're doing. I mentioned that you're excited for it. This piece is really good, by the way. Ugh. Oh, I shouldn't whistle right into the mic. Actually, does it pick up? Actually, I don't think it's picking it up. It's super cool. This mic is really good about not picking up not words, but like it'll pick up conversations happening down the hall. <laughs> no reason in particular. Hi. Hello. Oh, my eye is twitching already. What is it about streaming or being on a call with someone that my right eye is just like time to bulge out my head? Oh, I'm excited. I'm excited. Full stop, I stole this idea from FatGuy703 because he is my favorite YouTuber and I like his content a lot and everyone should go watch him, but I've been meaning to do this for a while. But I had to reconfigure everything for some reason. Dolphin was like factory reset, OBS was like factory reset, VitoTube was complete. I don't know, it was completely reset too and I just used my computer at like 2am this morning playing car boss game. I didn't change anything. Whatever. So that was like 30 minutes of time to reset everything. Oh my god. But it's fine. We're here. We're paper Marioing. I'm very excited for this. I had actually forgotten about this concept that I've been wanting to do. And then I saw a video by another YouTuber I really like, Cappy, and he was doing this concept on Paper Mario 64 which I do also want to do, but uh, I've got more plans for that later. So I'm going to wait till... Uh, and also, I did just finish off the randomizer for that not too long ago, so I'm going to intersperse this idea before that, and then do that one later. But I digress. Oh, perfect timing. I guess that kind of spoils a little bit. I got a text message. Good Caleb. Caleb calling me out with my kins, that sounds about right. Okay, might as well just jump into the main screen. We are not doing Loading Zone Randomizer today because I'm retaining my sanity. B. What is that? Oh, I think it's just like a regular playthrough I'm doing. Sorry. Okay. Um, actually, hold on, I want to make sure it's... Okay, hold on. Chat box is not where it's supposed to be either. Everything reset! I don't get it. Also, I want to make chat bigger so I can see better. Oh, you need to uh, go like... Yeah, there you go. That's better. Words. Words is good. Um, I might mess with that later. We'll see. Um, okay, let me... How do I modify what we're doing here? Okay, it's not that. I thought it was hold Z while... Oh, oh! Oh, that's cool! Is that the last build date? Words and cute darks. <laughs> hey! Flattery will get you all sorts of places. 
Uh, how do I... Is it Y? I thought there was some button I'm supposed to hold while I do this to, like... No, 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 I'm, I'm getting my wires crossed. I was thinking of the actual true randomizer. No, we're on the shuffleizer, so that's... I don't need to do anything there. Okay. Theoretically. Well, clearly it's working, because it says shuffleizer. But... Scroll wires. I can name a few places I like to be. Me too. I can think of that too. I really like how the <laughs> the and symbol looks in the teach my font, which I still need to download that. Um, okay. Um, I want. How do you spell souffle? I think it's with two Fs. And it's like an accented E, I think, like that. Or is it... Maybe it's 1F. I don't know. Actually, no. 2Fs is fine, because I'm combined. It's like, it's shuffle and souffle. Like, that looks wrong. We're going to leave it as is. It's fine. It's fine. Oh, trust me. I know how memory works. Oh, okay. I do need to move chat over a little bit. There we go. That's fair. Souffle. Oh, no, no, I did get it right. Okay. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Hi, Pear Carry. Cute. Your mother's respond to the mail phone. Souffle. Ow. You can ow, 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 get off my finger. Ow. Still waiting for Luigi and Paper Luigi and the Marvelous Compass. Should that ever be done? It's a Princess Peach letter. We know these things. We've seen these things. We've seen this game about 500,000 times. Which is cool, because we like this game. Hello, Mario. <laughs> I'm on holiday. Here's a box. I got a map. Come on. Let's fly through the tutorial stuff so we can get to the meat and potatoes, the peaches and the gravy. Licked a little bit on my screen, but I think we're okay. I was gonna make some sort of stupid joke about the title of this game, couldn't think of one in time, so moving on. Alright, so theoretically, after we get through this little prologue fight, we should be able to start seeing what's going to really happen with this playthrough. And I'll start going over stuff. So... Yeah, I guess I can start now. So this is the Shuffleizer. Um, and the Shuffleizer is a really cool mod. I got a notification. One moment. Cool. Um, it is a really cool mod by JD Aster, who is also a really great content creator and code writer in general. Um with work by Zephyrus, also he's another really good uh, mod maker. He also made the T2ID randomizer. That's fantastic. Um, but the shuffleizer is kind of like a randomizer. Oh, yikes. It's a little different in terms of how it randomizes things. It essentially takes everything that is in a certain item pool and shuffles it within them. So... And I think there's ways to, like, kind of modify how it's all shuffled. Like, you can shuffle within certain chapters, or you can shuffle within certain pools of items, or just do a big, big full shuffle. Um, it doesn't straight up, it doesn't randomize, like, the key items, but a key item randomizer that's big and open, like, um, <clears throat> the Paymark 64 one would be really cool. But, so we're shuffleizing. And also doing something else that I will get into in just a moment. And a little bit of latency problems, but that's okay. If I can super guard, the latency isn't that bad. We're okay. Hi, Chrome. Love you much. Alrighty. I should have modified, like, enemy health and damage values also to make things more interesting. Um, but I didn't think about it till literally just right now. So I'll save that for 
another playthrough, because I think this is going to be pretty interesting enough once we get into things. The f Depending on what gets shuffled in this first chapter, this first chapter may or may not be all too complicated, but we will see. So, the other thing we're doing besides shuffleizing is what a lot of challenge runners refer to as chapter locking, which is kind of a reference to nuzlocking, and I'm sure everyone knows what a nuzlocke is. Uh, I personally don't do nuzlocks because I can't bear the thought of any of my favorite Pokemon being perma-killed, which is probably also I think they do in Fire Emblem, I think. Whatever. Um, but... I lost my train of thought again. Chapter lock, that's right. Uh, so the, the nitty-gritty of that is I'm only allowing myself to use items and badges that I find within the chapter for that chapter. And once we move on to the next chapter, I've got to sell all my items and sell all my badges. And then I can only use whatever I've got that I find in the next chapter. And then so on and so forth. So by the time we get to chapter 8, we're only allowed to use whatever we find in chapter 8. Now, that's, that's the base rules, and I'm totally up to making new rules as we go, modifying stuff, whatever. Um, chat inclusion also, so like, um, what would be very interesting would be to have some kind of like stakes, I guess, like, and I'll have to think about this, but like, maybe if certain events happen, like, oh, a certain thing happens, chat gets to pick a badge that I have to take off, or something else happens and I get to put pick a badge that I can put back on, or whatever. Uh... Yeah. I've always been interested in a Nuzlocke as, like, the challenge aspect, but I, I can't. Like... Okay, um, that's not gonna help me, because the enemies aren't gonna be weaker until I'm after the chapter, but... So... I should have put on the infinite BP uh, code also. Ooh, that would be really nice. Because what I could then add would be, like, every badge I pick up I have to put on, regardless of if I like it or not. And then, every level up, we could do, like, chat tells me a badge that I have to take off, or whatever. Do I even- hold on, I'm gonna check something real fast. Do I have an infinite BP mod? code, actually. Oh, I've got an AR code for it. If I turn it on, I'll probably have to reset. Yeah, so, okay. Um, okay. So, I have an idea. One sec. Let me save real fast. I'm gonna close out. You're gonna look at my... Don't. Don't look at it. Oh, that's chat box. Don't look at it. Nope. Spoilers for potential future content. Don't look. There we go. You saw nothing. <laughs> it crashed. <laughs> God, come on. Alright, so theoretically... Easy, easy there. Beautiful. Alright. It crashed again. What is your deal, Dolphin? Come on. Okay. Come on. No crashing. Beautiful. All right, I'm gonna move the window over a teeny tiny bit so I can... It crashed again. What is your problem? Okay, that's still on. Got shuffle eyes on. Okay, so let's try this again. If you crash again, I'm gonna lose my mind, dude. What is your problem? Okay, you know what? I think I, I think I know what's up. 
I think it doesn't like me having a gecko code and AR code at the same time. So let me see if I can find a gecko real fast. One moment, we're going to do a little bit of coding here real fast. Oh, wait, actually, we can do the other thing I was talking about. Um, oh, no, we're not adding defense. That's stupid. Okay, um, give me like two seconds here. Ah, okay, okay. One moment. This is everyone's favorite part of the stream where I code for a moment. Properties, okay, let's turn off the AR code and let's go back to just get go, please. Out. Um, okay. And then where's my infinite BP? No, where's the oh my god. I don't plan on using infinite BP to cheat my way through stuff. I literally just want it as an option so that we can use whatever badges show up. Aspect ratio, max crowd, have all badges, have all badges, act, auto action, all badges. All badges cost zero BP. You know what? That'll work. Uh, that works better. That's, that's totally fine. Beautiful. Just going to call it zero BP. For ease of access. Beautiful. All right. Close, close. Boot you up. Okay. So theoretically, if you crash, so help me God, I think we're fine now. I think it was just like struggling. Like you can't have it. Okay. No, I'm crazy apparently. Why? What is your damage? Okay, I'm going to wait a second. It's fine so far. Nope, it just crashed. Okay, um, why? It was totally fine. And then I reset to just... I have not put... There's no AR codes on. Is it that one? Hold on, let me turn that one off for a sec. Yay, if you liked the coding portion of the stream, you're going to love the uh, tech issue portion. It crashed again. Seriously? You're killing me here. Oh, it didn't just crash, it completely froze. Did everything freeze? No? OBS is good. What? Dolphin, why? Okay, um, I don't want to update Java right now. Hold on, let me, no, not, no, 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 no. Oh, I clicked the wrong thing. Nope, shut up, Launchbox, shut up. Hold on, let's, uh. Oh my god, there's too many things on screen. Shut up. No, go away. Okay, um. No, shut up. Okay. Dude, I really, really need you to work. I'm so excited for this, and you're 
fighting me. And I don't understand why. Nintendo. Okay, this is further than we got before. Maybe we're okay. Maybe I just had to scare it by using RetroArch for a moment. Okay, okay, I think we're good. I think we're good. Oh, but I turned off the hard mode option. Oh, oh my god, I really... Okay, let's just... Let's make sure the zero BP code works. Make sure, and Shuffleizer is clearly still on. You good? That sounds good. Looking good, feeling good. All badges are zero. Yes! Okay, so that works. Okay. Beautiful, beautiful. So that way we can actually do that. Okay, I'm going to close out one more time. I'm going to try one more thing, and if this causes it to not work again, then we're just going to say screw it. Okay. Kringer's Faust. Okay, show me that intelligent systems. You're going to crash. Hmm. I'm going to give it one more shot, and if it doesn't work, we're turning off the other code. The code that seems to be causing problems is this hard mode code that I really want because I would like the enemies to have more health. It crashed again. Okay. Um. Maybe I didn't... <clears throat> it's either the code or I did not save it properly. Go ahead and remove that one. One moment, I promise we're almost set up here. Okay, let's go back here. <clears throat> Dude, this code is long. Okay. Theoretically. Let's add new code. Lock me there. Head down. And then this one. Okay. Cool. If this doesn't work, then we give up. And we just <laughs> go with what does work. Lock that there, save that there, close. All right. Show me the money. <clears throat> it crashed. <laughs> um, the extra enemy health may not be working. I need, there's a specific code that I think Cephalus made that I need to get. It's like practice codes that lets you modify Mario's, Mario and his partner stats on the fly, as well as enemy stats. And like, you can, you can make uh, SP, uh, you can make a uh, super guards cost SP to do. You can up defense, attack, health, whatever for anyone. Also, I think we're finally in the clear. Oh my God. Yeah, so I need to get those at some point, because then I can just really make the challenge interesting. But, alright. <clears throat> we will test it out on the first enemy we see. But, okay, let's finally jump in. 24 minutes in. Okay. Shuffleizer's active. BP Infinity active. Okay. So, every time I find a badge, I've got to put it on. Even if it's one I don't want to put on. And we can put in some, like, fun chat rules if we want as we go to really add stuff. I'm totally fine with that. I mean, I'm not going to have a whole lot of use for it. Oh, this is just prologue. Do I count prologue as its own chapter? Or do I just keep prologue and chapter one separate? Or uh, combined? I don't know. I mean, prologue literally just goes until the blooper mid-boss. Yes. 
keep them separate or put them together? Okay. Interesting. Yeah, I suppose. I'm also not using shops because A. Oh, they are shuffleized. Okay, yeah, I'm not. <laughs> There's a mistake. Separate. Okay, okay. So whatever I get here in the prologue, I will have to get rid of slash not use when we get to chapter one. Oh boy. That's fine. That's that's fine. I mean, we're going to be fine for prologue. It just gives us a little less to work with for chapter one, which kind of makes me want to save some of this overworld stuff until chapter one. I'll go back and get my coins in a minute. I mean, I'm not using shops, so coins kind of don't matter. But we'll see. Star piece. Okay, well, at least I can take a look at Dazzle's badges then, since I've got one. Um, And then I'm thinking... Oh, I could test it on him and see if he's got more health, but he might actually kill me at this rate. What was I saying? I'm thinking every time I level up, chat gets to pick uh, what stat I pick. Uh, since we've got infinite BP, if chat decides to pick upgrading BP, that will literally be a waste for my <laughs> for my level up. Which, it depends on how brutal y'all want this playthrough to be for me. If you want to make it a little easier, you're allowed to. If you want to make it harder, <laughs> because it's funny and that's the kind of content people like, you can do that. Um, I'm halfway tempted to say, like, oh, every level up we get one badge that we get to pick. Or, like, every chapter we complete, like, okay, you can pick one badge to hold on to for the future. But then, depending on the badges I get, that could be really busted. Like, I could get Mega Rush P and be like, oh, yeah, no, I'll keep that forever. Or, oh, I got Power Bounce, I'm gonna hold on to that. Did it just crash? Uh, no it didn't, but I got a weird pop-up I've never seen before. <laughs> Bizarre. No, I don't need... I don't need a tutorial. I promise. Also, probably no reason to deal with Gus right now, because there's nothing over there I can get yet. You're gonna save frequently, because these self-imposed challenges are gonna be possibly a problem and a heart reward. Another star piece. That's what it always is. Okay. I mean, who knows? If Dazzle's shop got shuffleized to be some good stuff, then having star pieces will be nice. Frankly, it's like I'm not even gonna look at them. Oh, he's holding a sleepy sheep. That's. Uh, if I can't kill him this turn, that's going to be a big issue, actually. <laughs> uh, so theoretically, they've got more health. Well, he's still only got two. Did the code not work? Uh, the code might not have worked. Well, it gives them 1.5 times more health, and they normally have two... So 2 times 1.5 would be 2.5, I guess, and then it round. I guess it rounds down, maybe? I thought T2ID rounded up or stuff like that, but... Weird. I might be completely crazy. Oh, sorry, Goombella. Or the code might not have worked for the enemy health, for all I know. Oh my god, I just realized getting Flower Saver for Prologue is such a waste, because we're not going to get any FP items. Or not items, uh, FP badges, probably. And then we're just going to have to throw... <laughs> we're just going to have to take it off for Chapter 1. Oh, gimme. Get whatever use we can out of it here, I guess. Ooh. Oh, actually, I, I wouldn't mind that. Okay. Um, I could hazard respawn and go check out the rest of the place, but I actually kind of want to save those items for 
later chapters, because who knows. Okay, wow, I'm really tired of the star pieces just not having shuffled. Wow. Okay, you know what? Get the crap items out of the way now, I guess. Ah, uh, you know what? Actually, I could use the mini Mr. Mini on Blooper and see how he looks. He might just not be susceptible to shrink, though. Because otherwise, his sprite would look very bizarre. The objective here not only is to have fun, but also to make things really difficult so that people can watch and be like, wow, this is very interesting. Ooh, also, if I get... if I faint in any chapter, <laughs> chat gets to pick a badge I have to take off for that chapter. Like, prematurely get rid of. That would be fun. I'm gonna need, like, a list of rules. <gasps> oh. Ah, choking on a hiccup. Oh no. This is terrible. I'm, I'm so cursed. This game's cursed. That's his beef. Thank you, T2ID, for t teaching me my love of using beef in sentences. I, I don't think I can get any items in here right now, but that's fine. Prologue's pretty short, so there's not going to be a whole lot that happens. We're going to do this. Head back down into the sewers, and then, you know, loop for time. And I won't be able to sell badges yet, because the badge shop doesn't open until chapter one, or after chapter one, maybe. So, I'll just take them off before chapter one, and then we'll do our thing. And, um, I think I've only got two items, so I'll just use them in the blooper fight. I should, I should double check to see if there's a two times boss health, because 1.5 is okay, but two times would be good. Or having like a range where it could be anywhere from like two times to three times, it's like, good luck, you might, but that would get really bad for some of the later bosses, like Gloomtail could have anywhere from 160 to 240 health. Ooh. Which would actually probably break things, because T2ID does not like health scaling when it gets close to, like, 250-ish. It starts kind of having problems. Yeah, okay, I know. We got a magical map. It shows a star. It's awesome. <clears throat> I still need to go get my coins back at some point, but I'll do that later. Hello! Hello, welcome to Mario! Where I put too many rules in place, and hopefully it's still interesting. Well, we'll see. Oh, uh ha! -huh. Oh, yeah! Alright, thank you. Alright, we get one item from Frankly, and we are out of here. Well, we're out of here, and then we get an item for Bank, frankly. Please be good. Oh, it's Power Smash! That's what he normally gives me. Did that not get shuffled, or did it just get shuffled into itself? Well, it was it's nice seeing you. We're never going to see you again after Blooper in a moment. Oh, we can check the bat shop also and see if there's anything worth saving up for. Oh, you definitely got shuffled. <gasps> Mega Rush for only eight star pieces? I could save that for chapter eight. Unless chat wants to force me to take it in an earlier chapter, which I will not stop y'all from doing. 
I could be a real, real turd and get slow go now, so it gets used up in prologue, and no one else can make me get it in future chapters. Yeah, I'm doing a challenge. I'm putting way too many requirements, but it's fun. I think every chapter chat should be allowed to make me pick a star piece or a, a dazzle badge. But uh, I'd have to put the infinite star pieces uh, code on, which isn't a big deal. I could do that. I, don't know. I won't do it for prologue just now since this is what I'm only just now thinking of, but... <laughs> Uh, for chapter 1 through 8, we can do Dazzle Badges. Oh, that's actually, that's that's an idea. Uh, for each chapter, we can have y'all pick a badge I have to purchase and with Star Pieces, and I can pick one also. And so if y'all don't want me saving Mega Rush till chapter 8, y'all can be like, no, use it up for chapter 1. <laughs> Which is actually going to be right after this, now that I'm thinking about it. Does Mini Mr. Mini even work on this guy? That is the question. Also, I'm going to tattle because I'm curious if the health code is active or not. Okay, normally he's got 12. He still has 12. Did the code... Maybe the codes just didn't take. Hmm. I, might, I need to look for one that does, like, double, because that would actually pretty, be pretty interesting. Alright, I gotta get rid of these items anyway and see if they work. Nope. Your darn looping. Ow. I should probably actually guard. Like a normal person. Uh, I'm very curious if this is gonna work. Yeah, that's kind of what I expected. Alright, spike pouch. Might as well. Oh, I would have had to let him actually hurt me <laughs> if I wanted that to uh, take effect. Well, I got no items. Too soon. Wait, he didn't take any damage from Spy Pouch. Maybe it doesn't work on his tentacles, I guess. That's bizarre. you power smash and flower saver combo but all right I mean theoretically things will be hard enough without extra HP but it would be nice to have funsies. Okay, so when we go through that pipe, that takes us to chapter one. So I'm gonna go ahead and take these off. Why is the Italian man styling? He has to show off, okay? He's gotta show off. <laughs> um, okay, so since we're about to do chapter one, let me see about that infinite star piece uh, code. And then y'all can decide a badge I take to chapter one. And I'll take one also. So one moment here. Uh, T T. No, not F. T T Y D. There we go. So theoretically, oh, there is double health ones. Okay, I gotta turn those on. All right, one moment. We're gonna. Gonna be playing with codes for a sec, so let me. Make... Whoop, hold on. Let me do a little bit of that. All right, back to everyone's favorite portion: coding. Okay. 
Mm, let's see. Okay. Let's add a new code. There. All right. And then we need a little bit of that. Beautiful. Oh, you know what? I think I know why it's not working. I'm not putting the codes in properly. Wait, no. No, I am. Should be fine. Okay, now we just need one for start piece. Well, I infinite health. I don't need those. I don't start applying Yoshi color. Ooh, I need to save that one. That's the that's the beta Riverside Station song that got cut. I like that. Bad badge IDs. I don't need those. I need Spider Model. Global NPC. No, where's the oh my god, just one moment. Dude, where is the star piece one? That should be a pretty, pretty common one. Okay, yes, every NPC's character ID. I get it. Unused characters, replace coops with Luigi. What? Dark atomic blue. Interesting. Okay, that was status modifier. Allergic. Oh, yeah, the food allergy one. Move some sis if you speak that that nipple branch. Oh, dude, please. I just, I just want my star pieces. Oh boy. Kumba has X not PhD strong such whole formula. No, I don't need that. That's so specific. Venom stomp. Poisonous sleepy stomp? That's interesting. Okay, these are some like cool custom codes that people are making, but I gotta find. Alright, where's my geckos? Cambella, max money, quick level. There it is. Wait, are these gecko codes? Are these. No, this feels like action replay codes. There's the practice codes, which I do need to grab later. No, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna set up the practice codes just for start pieces right now. Hold on. Okay, that is an action replay code. Oh god. I really don't think the game wants me to have action replay and gecko at the same time, so let's not. Okay, this is all about aspect ratio. I'm glad y'all are really interested in aspect ratio, but what about star pieces? Enable hard slash insane. Dude, star pieces. I'm trying to add a new rule to my challenge. Please just give me star pieces. OK, 
Okay, I'm going to try one other thing. I'm going to try the AR code. And that doesn't work in tangent with it probably doesn't because where is it? Evna Hell, Evna Stuff, blah blah blah. Okay. Okay, let's try this. And when this inevitably doesn't work, we'll turn it back off and we're just gonna say screw the star faces. God bless whoever has patience to code. Yeah, I'm getting into coding, but I'm very not good at it currently. I'm gonna take a wild guess and say this ain't gonna work. AR and Gecko do not like working together. Like at all. Yeah, no, that's as a pretty solid nope from Dolphin there. All right, let's turn it back off. Okay, we're not doing star faces right now, I guess. Oh well. If I find a gecko for the star piece one, uh, we'll do it in the future. Or it's going to crash. Um, or I'll code my own star piece one, but I'm not going to do that on stream because that would take forever. And I really don't think people are going to find. Oh, dude, dude, Dolphin, please, why are you the most frustrating thing to work with sometimes? I turned the action replay code off. You're okay, I promise. Make an entire new game. Yeah, I might as well just make a brand new Paper Mario at this point. God, please. Dude, for the love of all, all that is holy, uh, my legitimate GameCube is what I meant to say. Dude, why? Why? Why all of a sudden do you not work? Oh my god, okay. I, I don't understand. I don't understand the problem we're having here. Is it the health codes? The 1.5 times ones when they were on were work. Well, oh my god. 90% of the stream is just going to be me on a black screen. Okay, AR is turned off. Let me turn this one off. Oh! Oh, wait, hold on. Wait, hold on. Wait, hold on. Oh my god. Oh. Okay. Hold on. I've got some ideas here. Oh my god, Don, shut up. I'm going to turn the full tattle log on just so that we can see if the extra health is working or not. Um, what do you mean, cool badges? Okay. Um, all right. So I think we might be okay now. I really want that extra enemy and boss health so bad. And oh my god. Okay. It's not, it's, it just, I don't, I don't know why. I don't know why it just, refuses to work, but I guess we're just not going to do it. I beg you, please work. I beg you, please work. Come on. Come on. Okay. I tried turning off just the, the enemy health, but I guess I'll turn the boss one off too. If it's still crashing after I do this, then Ooh. Ain't gonna be too happy. Let's go, Nintendo. Nope, it was. Wait, no, it is crashing again. Why? What is your beef? 
What is your beef? It was fine earlier, and now it's just refusing to work. Go. Dude, okay, I'm about to lose my fucking mind. I'm about to literally go crazy. Oh, every time, every time it disappears, it's turning off. I promise. And there it goes again. Every time the stream goes completely black, that's, that's another crash. Let's try again. I was trying to put on a code that gave me infinite uh, shine sprites also, so y'all could pick who gets uh, super and ultra ranked and when. It crashed again. Okay. I'm getting actually pretty annoyed now. Okay, screw the star pieces. Maybe maybe that is the maybe that's the code that's just absolutely killing us here. It crashed again. Why? I okay. I'm back to using just the codes I was using when it was working earlier, so I have no idea. Dude, you're killing me here, game. You're killing me. Killing me. Let's try like a hard, hard reset here. Short of completely resetting my computer, which I don't want to do, let's try resetting everything else. Okay. Take it nice and slow. Okay. I don't know why it decided to work that time, but we'll take it. And guess what? I put all the other codes back on and now it's suddenly working. There's no... That is one of my biggest pet peeves in the entire world, is tech issues that don't have any sort of like actual reason for why they're happening. Like, if I can figure out why something doesn't work, be like, oh, okay, cool, I get it. But if there's no rhyme or reason to why it's not working, there's... It's so frustrating. It's ghosts. It's the big Mario ghosts. Alright. Okay. So every chapter, y'all can pick one of these badges for me to have to take for that chapter. And once that chapter's over, it's gone. And I also get to pick one also. So we'll go through them here. And if y'all need an explanation uh, of what each of these does... Let me know. But these are your options. We've got, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So, 2, 1, 2. Okay, so chapter... So if we do two badges per chapter, that will be chapter 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7 which would leave out uh, chapter 8. Uh, so we can either skip chapter 1 and start this on chapter 2, or we just won't use any of these for chapter 8. Um, slow go. Mario is forced to walk constantly, so he's slower on the overworld. Uh, tornado jump lets you do a cool attack in midair that can hit midair enemies. Soft Stomp, if it works, lowers defense on an enemy. Happy Flower slowly uh, recovers FP in a fight. Pretty Lucky makes you, like, I want to say 12.5% chance of being missed by attacks. Charge lets you spend FP to uh, raise Mario's attack by one. Flower Finder makes flowers your FP restoring more likely to show up after fights. Zap tap, you are electrified in battle, and so enemies take contact damage. Damage dodge, you take one less damage if you guard properly. Hammerman ups your hammer attacks by one, but you cannot jump when that is equipped. FP drain P drops your allies' attack by one, but you regain one FP per hit. 
um, or per attack. Defend plus boosts Mario's defense by one. Power Bounce lets you jump over and over on the same enemy until you miss. And Mega Rush, when Mario has one health, his attack goes up by five. So that's a pretty dang good badge. And so these are your options. You get to pick one to force me to use for this chapter. And then I will pick one. Power Bounce. <laughs> you know what? Since there's two of y'all, y'all can pick the two for the chapters, and I won't get a choice. I was actually kind of thinking slow go anyway. We will take Power Bounce. As early in the game as possible, which kind of sucks that I won't have it later on, and we'll take slow go. Alright, chapter one is gonna be something. These other three are dead to us, because they were our prologue badges. And now look what you have done. This is how fast I can move. Thankfully, you decided I should have this for chapter one, and not one of the later chapters where there's a lot of walking. If you had done this on chapter four, I probably would have cried. Slow, go, slow, go, slow, go. I'm gonna miss this. Ha! Oh no, we're okay. Oh my god. This actually makes jumping really hard. I... Boy, this is gonna be something. Here we are, almost an hour in, and we're finally starting chapter one. And she's gone. Castle and Dragon, one of my favorite chapters, because Hookdale's in it, and we, we stand our queen. Our dragon queen. I will... I will happily stand aside and let Hooktail be the queen. Oh god, I'm so slow. Alright, you better give me some good badges for this chapter. Well, actually, no, give me terrible badges for this chapter so that the other chapters are better. That's useless to me, but thanks. Uh, okay. I also gave us uh, infinite shine sprites, so y'all can pick if slash when partners are upgraded. Otherwise, it'd be totally up to just finding Shine Sprites, which is completely shuffled also. There's our queen. So go the whole game. No, 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 no. Just for this chapter. It goes away after chapter one is finished. <laughs> it goes bye-bye. It goes into... We're doing a chapter lock. I don't think I explained it. Uh, so whatever I get in a chapter, I'm only allowed to use in that chapter. And once I finish the chapter, it's gone. Something else I kind of wanted to do that I don't know if it's possible um, is only use a partner in the chapter you get the partner in. And if you want to use them later on, you have to upgrade them. But uh, I don't I don't know. I don't know how doable that would be. Also, are you regretting slow go yet? Oh, it's a... Oh, quit getting me all the... I can't outrun the enemies. <laughs> giving me the good items in the first chapter. Save them for later. Okay, enemy health still isn't doubled. So I guess those codes just don't work. Yeah, I might not do the I might do the partner one in a different uh, challenge run. Not for this one, since we're already struggling to get off the ground here currently. Oh, it's so slow. Alright, what item can we not get? Ah, uh, that's fine. That's pretty no worthwhile. No, 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 no. Uh, that's not helpful at all, actually. I was thinking about the dried fruit from uh, Super Mario 64. Not Gamba. Don't you touch me? Don't do it. Hey, I told you what Slogo did. <laughs> You have made this. This is the. This is the future you have wrought. Oh. Oh, it's chugging a little bit. Okay, now it's better. Eh, kind of. God, I'm gonna feel so fast in the later chapters by comparison. Is that super shrewd? It's not bad. I'm probably gonna need it at this rate. I'd do it again. <laughs> you would. Hey, it is gone. It is being sent to the ether once we're done with Hooktail. Never to be seen again. 
if I had gotten this in chapter three, I could at least be using Yoshi to mitigate some of the problems, but nope. Ah! So fast. One of these has an item. Yeah. Oh! Well, put you on. Yes, I'm jump. Oh, that's useless to me! God! I'm jumping because it's a little faster. <laughs> Alright. To restate, uh, I'm not using shops. Uh, Y'all get to pick what I level up whenever I do get level ups. Um, everything we've got in a chapter is all we can use, and it goes away at the end of the chapter. Um... And I'll let y'all control when my partners get uh, ranked up. I kind of don't even want to poke into the shop because I kind of don't want to know what I'm missing out on. This is a fairly lengthy chapter, so kill that man. No, this isn't that one Pokemon Romac. I can't kill anyone. Oh, past him. That's pretty good for early on. Also, you're cute as heck. Mario's sadly crippled and cannot move faster than a, whatever this is. Give Mario some roller skates. Like Pokemon X and Y. Alright. Hi. We're an hour in, and we have just gotten to Petalburg. <laughs> if I cut out all the coding and background problems and just dolphin crashing constantly, um, it'd be significantly less content. Oh yeah, I know. I got a frame one jump on that. That was cool. Why is he green? He's a Koopa. Some turtles are green. Actually, yeah, he is weirdly colored compared to normal Koopas, I gotta say. Is he ripe yet? <laughs> I don't know! Cut him open and see. Give him a little sniff. See if he's ripe. A little, a gentle squeeze. I bet he bruises easy. He's got good eyebrows. Wow, thanks for the point. I can never remember which bushes in the screen actually have stuff, and now it's so important because they could be batches. Stay away from me. Okay, or not. Kind of it. Just a little taste. Wait, I just realized my complete catalog code is not on. I mean, I guess it doesn't matter because clearly the extra enemy health did not work, which is really frustrating. What I should do is take the time to install the practice codes, because that is a surefire way to make sure that enemy health goes up. Taste the delicious Koopa juice. I mean, there's Koopa tea, but that's just, that's made from Koopa leaves. Uh, I don't really even need coins, I don't know why I'm bothering with them. And I don't really need- oh god! I'm too slow! Don't take advantage of me. Stop. No. Leave me alone! <laughs> Drink the Koopa Chalice. Imbibe. <laughs> Imbibe the Koopa fluid. Oh, I'm down with honey syrup. No, please, I just want the item. I'm gonna end up jumping on him. I'm essentially forced to fight everyone, is what this chapter has become. And this is why Slogo is an S tier badge. I forgot I had flower. Whatever it's called. Happy Flower. I need to revisit my badge tier list and see if anything's changed. 
Probably not, though. I'm pretty confident in where everything lays. Lies. Whatever the word is. That's actually pretty nice. Thank you. I I probably will actually need that for the, the bristles. Because I don't think I've got anything else I can hurt them with. Yakuza. Oh, we got bald boys. I'm just gonna... I'll just super guard y'all. Because I can't use power smash. I have nothing, right? Oh yeah, there's no way flower, Fire Flower works on these guys. Uh, we're just gonna... We might as well tattle, because it covers. Oh, that was way faster than I thought. Yep, they still only have two health too. So, I guess the double health code just is bunk. What I'll probably do is, between streams, I'll get the practice codes working, so I can actually upgrade everyone's health. Because that would be really nice. I would do it right now, but with how many issues we've had with Dolphin, I kinda am afraid to close out of it again. The practice codes would be cool. We could put in more rules that way, like every time I level up. Uh, it costs SP if I want a super guard, or um, enemy health goes up every time I level up. Oh, that would be cool, actually. Every time I level up, enemy health and attack goes up by a little bit. Nope. Stop. Literally leave me alone. I might be missing stuff in these bushes because I cannot remember. Oh, that's not bad. I don't really have... Oh, wait, I've got Power Bounce, I just remembered. I can use that for Hooktail. Uh, close calls, not bad. I definitely want to get the uh, health and damage code working before Hooktail. Because she's the boss and I want her. Also, that's useless, thank you. Ooh, you know what? Next chance I have to save, I'm going to try to get those codes working, because... I should be able to use them. Oh, I didn't put close call on. I'm dumb. Okay, well, I cannot do anything to y'all. It has to be the shooting star. That's the only thing that's going to hurt him right now, so that's a bummer. If you try to hammer these guys, they stab you before you can get close enough. So, fun fact. Oh boy, coding. Yeah, uh, we're going to do more coding in a little bit. Let me get to a save point, and then... We get to have the lovely fun of fighting with Dolphin again. Please don't. Please don't. I'm pretty sure you can actually fall off the sledge. No! 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 Oh god, no! Okay, first of all, I gotta put close call on. HP Drain. Yes, by GameCube. My GameCube that is... If anyone... Like, I have a genuine GameCube and a genuine copy of Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door. I have three GameCubes, technically. Two of which are broken, because they're very, very old. And the one I have that does work is also pretty old. I've had it for a long time. So, if anyone asks, I do have both, and I can prove it. I've got... I can have video and picture evidence of both. Also, this this badge is like solid D tier. Ugh. It drops my attack by one, but I regain one health whenever I attack. It's terrible. And Mario, I don't think, can actually hurt anyone anymore. So, Goombell is going to have to do all the heavy lifting. Okay, hold on. First of all, I got a notification. Let me check. Oh, that's a long message. Um, okay, so here's the plan. 
we're gonna go back to our lovely everyone's favorite it's coding we love coding oh god okay hold on let's find the practice goes again This might be a very short, disappointing stream. <laughs> okay. Okay, where's the... Okay, so uh, we're using Gecko for this. But okay, let's toss you over there for a minute. Okay. Um, okay, cool. This is not on screen, so that's beautiful. I don't need to have all this background stuff going on the screen right now. Um, Oh, that's European. Crap, that's European. No, no, undo. Undo. No! Oh, God. Hold on. I grabbed the wrong one. We need the American version. I do have a European version also, but we need American for this. Okay. Because... Okay, I can remember that one. Yeah, replace. Oh my god, hold on. I gotta get rid of that one. Yes, import that one. No, it doesn't. I promise it doesn't. Oh my god, Do mm -hmm. dolphin. I mean, game, GameCube. It, I promise it doesn't have it anymore. I got rid of it. Okay, hold on one moment. Documents. Uh, that one. Okay, that should be that should be what we need. Okay, so import. Dude, oh my god. Okay, just blah, blah, blah. hit it with a wrench. Upgrade to level two. There will be no TF2 talk in this stream. How dare you? Import practice codes. It doesn't have it, I promise. Oh my god. Yeah, okay. That's that's the wrong one. We want this. The target memory card already contains it. I, mm, it really does not. I promise you, it does not contain that. I, I promise you. Imports. It's not. Oh my god, I'm gonna lose my mind. Imports. Oh my god, what have I done? What have I done? Dude. Alternatively slang and blah blah blah. Okay, hold on. Let's uh let's give it a little test here.
It crashed, didn't it? Oh my god, I'm about to be a little frustrated. Yeah, I had full title logged on and it just wasn't working, so that's cool. Might as well turn that one off. Okay, tools, import, dude, it's not in there. I promise you it is not in there. I literally just quadruple checked. It is not in there at all. Wait, that gives me an idea. Hold on. Switch to B real fast. Oh, I don't have a memory card B yet. Okay, never mind. Back to A. Um... Why is it you're suddenly just not letting me do this? Do I need to rename you? Do I need to get rid of the randomizer? I don't want to get rid of the randomizer, though, as a thing. I really don't. Because I'm going to want to do more with the randomizer in the future. Um, okay, let's just create... Try this. Okay. Swap over here real fast. Okay. Okay. Beautiful. Okay. And we're also going to import. Oh, it shares the same file name as the shuffleizer. That's why it's not letting me. Are you going to let me change the file name, or are you going to just be like, no? Hold on, let's test it here. Okay, what if... Hmm. It might not work. Oh, you know what? They can't be used at the same time. Hmm. That would explain it. They have to be used individually. Okay. I get it, I get it, I get it. So, theoretically, okay. So this is still the shuffleizer. So if I want to use the practice codes, I'd have to. Okay, okay, I know what I gotta do. I'm gonna go ahead and copy this real fast, just in case something breaks. Um, okay, okay, I know what we gotta do. Everyone's favorite, it's coding. We love it.
They've all got it. Who needs it? Manage. Okay. So here's the Dizzy deal. Um, yeah, they want memory card B open. We're going to swap to B real fast. We're going to delete that for the moment. Swap to A, copy to B, and then delete it off A, and then import to A. Okay, now place your bets. Does it work? I would just rename it, but that would like it would it has to be what it's named, or else it'll not work. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Feeling good, feeling fresh. Theoretically, we've got practice cards. Yes! Oh, I'm so good at things. Okay. L plus start to open the menu. There it is. Look at that. Oh, whoops, hold on. Okay. I listen. I'm not that smart. So theoretically, we jump into file two. And I uh cheat. Oh boy. Save anywhere, spawn item, text storage, speed up Mario. Oh, that's tempting. Auto action, infinite items, reload, levitate, auto mash, frame, advance, generate lights, by more than Sure. Okay, that's not what we want. We want stats. Here we go. Wait, no. Battles. Oh. No. Um. Oh, that's very tempting. I'm not going to, though. Jump storage. Okay, so... Oh, whoops, hold on. Yeah, 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 I get it. I think we gotta do... Um... Here, we're about to get into a fight. Let me just go ahead and do this real fast. Theoretically, once I get into a fight, I should be able to... Modify universal health and attack for enemies. And I think every chapter we up it. Um, Stone Keys, yeah. No, I guess, Stone Keys, I know. Um, but what would be a good way to do it? Because it would be boring to just have, like, um, double health. Actually, Double health for the later bosses would be pretty rough. Maybe we just stick with upping everything by two times. Oh, I'm not coding anymore, so I might as well just be normal. Um, okay, so... Let's speed it up. I got things to do. And as soon as we're done... Oh, and the shuffleizer is not currently on because I'm doing this, so I need to not hit any blocks or items or anything. Alright, so let's go get into a battle. And then theoretically, we can make some magic happen. If we can get there in time. <laughs> Come on. Okay, so... Bear with me, this is my first time using the practice goes. Oh, you're not gonna make me do it individually for everyone. I also can't change their damage. But I think I can change, like... Oh, I need- I need fat guys practice goes. Those are the ones I'm needing. Stats... Um, I 
can't affect my defense, which is frustrating. Oh, I can use this to get rid of the uh, stuff I don't. I can't use. There we go. Oh, I need storage. I know I got the bells. That doesn't bells. Okay. Um. Can I? This. Oh, whoops! Hold on. Bring it back. Ugh, I can't even do what I was trying to do. That's so frustrating. Um, okay. Hold on, we're gonna... We're just gonna run real fast from this. I need to go make sure I actually save. Okay, well, we got the practice codes to work, but... Did not need them, in retrospect. But good to have for future stuff. Good for practice. Literally, because that's what they're called. Okay, one more moment. I delete those off there. There we go. Okay, shuffleizer's back on. Properties. I have the double health on, so I don't know why it doesn't work. It's so bizarre, because the other ones are working. Hold on, I'm going to check one final thing. Oh, I'm stupid. I'm so stupid. The reason they don't work is because I didn't have the code that is required to have to enable the codes. Oh my god. I cannot believe. I am so stupid. Oh my god. Literally, it says on the front page, like, required in order to enable hard slash impossible mode for modifying enemy health and power um, modifications, and it crashed. Dude, this has been an hour and a half of just nonsense. This is not what people come to see. They're like, oh, a TTYD, a challenge run, awesome. And it's coding for an hour and it crashes again. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's try this again. Dolphin? GameCube, I mean. Okay. We press the button. It crashes again. Life is pain. I hate. It's totally a toss up. It's just a toss up if it will work or not. And we're just going to keep doing it until it works. For the love of God, Mario. Yeah, yeah, yes, yes. Oh, baby, we're back in business. Now, assuming nothing crazy happens, we are finally able to just play the game. Okay, I think, I think we're good. I think you're good. Okay. I think we're good. Okay, now how do I enable hard mode like it said? 
Wait, no. I think it works because I've got the I've got the double enemy health and double boss health codes. And now I think all I have to do is just get into a fight and see it. Oh wait, actually, I kind of hate that I got that. I love these badges, but this is the one that specifically weakens the boss of this chapter, so that kind of sucks. Okay, so theoretically these posies should have six health, I think, right? I think there are three normally. Oh. Yes, it works! It works! Oh my god, it works! Oh, that's right, Mario has HP drain, so he can't actually hurt these things. Mario literally cannot damage enemies in this chapter now. Which means power bounce is completely useless. Unless we put in a rule that's like, yes, you can take off HP drain. <laughs> but I'd have to think, hey look, we got health back. Oh, missed that, that sucks. I'm trying to super guard these things. There we go. Oh my god, I miss him every time. I don't get it. <laughs> well, I pressed it way too soon that time. I got in my own head. I should have put Mario in front. Goombell is really struggling. And I could use... Could use off item on her. I could just be doing regular guards, but... I want to hurt him. I, I was a nanosecond too late. God, that sucks. This is gonna be brutal, this chapter. Mario can barely do any damage. I finally got the health working out for these guys. I don't think there's a way to... Up their attack is the only issue, because I really like to have them doing double damage. Everyone. No, please, 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 no, no! Oh, and there's three. I'm just, I'm not playing around with these guys. Nope. Let's just move on with our lives. I want to get the hook tail. With how long this has taken, I'll probably, I don't know, I might stop at hook tail. Oh, we level up. Okay. My lovely friends, pick, uh, pick what we level up. I normally only go BP when I do playthroughs. BP is infinite in this game, in this, with this code on. So if you wanted to waste my level up, you can totally just have me use BP. Um, something else I really want to do using the practice codes is every time I finish a chapter, I reset my stats back to, uh, level one so like we can level up as many times as we want in a chapter but once it's all over we reset back to level one so that's kind of what i'm thinking i'm gonna do but all right we can fb i won't really be able to use oh, use it a whole lot of this chapter since mario can't do any damage Oh, getting HP drain sucks! At least it's gonna be gone after this chapter. Also, there's so many of y'all. I... really don't know what I'm gonna do about these guys. Yeah, I don't think, I think this is an unskippable fight, sadly. Oh, bye. 
long as I'm good about that. No, dude, I had that, I swear. Okay, that one I screwed up. Slowly but surely. Oh my god, why? I'm just letting him get all his health back. Front since he can at least get health back from HP drain. Oh, donate it. Why? How did I. How was I too late on that? What are you. Oh, God. Dude, I'm pressing it at the perfect time. But no, game's like, nope. should just be doing regular guards, but I really want to do that extra damage, which I'm not doing at all, so it's just taking even longer. That was too soon. I know I hit that at the right time. I'm so frustrated with this thing. If this ends up feeling like more hassle than it's worth, I'll jump down to 1.5 times instead of 2, because right now this just kind of makes it feel like the battles are just never-ending. Not to mention, she just fell onto the floor. Not to mention I got slow go also, so chapter one is going to be a little bit of a slog. Also, I'm thinking about some future bosses. If they're at double health, that means Gloomtail's going to be at 160, Shadow Queen's going to be at 300, Bonetail's going to be at 400. Yes, I am going to do the Pit of Hunter Trials. No one can stop me. And I will count the Pit as its own chapter, so I will reset for the Pit also. No, I'm just running. I don't need y'all. Maybe I should have a rule that says I can't run from battles. But... No, please. Oh, God. No, no. Worst. No, I'm gonna have to fight for y'all in a second anyway. I'm not, not wasting my time with you. No, leave. Yeah, I'm kind of thinking I should go 1.5. As much as I want absurdly high health uh, enemies, it's making everything atrocious. <laughs> Okay, this first stream is going to be very experimental, and then everything going forward will be better. Ah, uh, yeah, I'm probably, probably thinking we'll do 1.5 instead. Especially if I'm doing chapter lock, because then I will literally not be able... It'll take so long to kill Shadow Queen, oh my god. HP is full. I 
How? How did I miss that? I pressed it right when I was supposed to. That was too soon. That was stupid. Literally not using any FP. I don't need it. Oh, yeah, no, we definitely need to bump it down to 1.5. Like, for later chapters, maybe it would be fine, depending on, like, the badge. I'm getting a lot of bingo options here. Maybe my badge layout for later chapters would be conducive of that, but like, I'm just realizing, after this fight, we have a mini, uh, a mini boss we have to fight, and he's gonna have 40 health. And like, he's not gonna be interesting at all. It's a little, oh my god, this is gonna be a struggle. It'd be one thing if I didn't have HP drain, but I do, and so this is just gonna, no, 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 oh, god. Yeah, I know, I can't hurry y'all, oh my god, HP drain is gonna literally give me a stroke. Stay away, dude, dude, oh my god. No, and now I'm gonna have to fight you. <laughs> Careful what you wish for when you're trying to code things, and then you finally get it, and you realize it's a nightmare. This isn't fun. This is a struggle. <laughs> It'd be fine if my badge setup was different, but... Doing a chapter lock, and... Trying to do double health, it might just be a little bit much. Oh no, sorry, he only has 20. I thought he had... When you base, though, ugh. I don't know, if I can survive this chapter, maybe I'll stick with the double health, because it would be more interesting to watch with double, but it just, it is wholly dependent on how my badge setups end up being. Oh, that's cool. So he's not going to go to his second phase until 8 health, I guess, because his health threshold is weird. I pressed it too late. That's frustrating. Okay, now he's at his base health, which is cool. Mario's gonna be literally useless for this portion of the fight. <laughs> yeah, no, uh, I'm not killing the Fuzzy Horde, in case anyone's curious. Dude, I gotta work on that, I swear I'm better at that. Danger. I don't have power rush P for. Beautiful. 
Okay, that one, that was actually not bad. Mostly because Gold Fuzzy can't uh, suck health. Oh, so go. You are normally such a fun batch, but today, good god. Yeah, Hooktail is gonna be an interesting occurrence. No, 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 no. And we're about to get coops, so we'll have some more attack options. I really should have considered putting in a rule that is like a safe way out in case I get a badge that's absolutely atrocious. I didn't think about chapter one HP drain being an option. As long as we don't get, like, an HP drain P, oh god, or an FP drain P or something, we'll have options. Oh, that's right. So Koopas have, like, what, six health now, I think? I have the full Tattelog code on, but clearly that doesn't matter. I pressed it way too late. Or too soon, I think, actually. Spike Goombas have weird timings for their super guards. Uh, no, I gotta keep them down. Yeah, you gotta press a little later on these guys. Oh, dude. Are you done? Nope, he still has health. That's kind of incredible. I really should double check how much total health you have. Well, I don't know now because. Yeah. He still has two left. Good god. Maybe they have eight now. Maybe they have four base. Health? I can't remember. No, 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 no. No, no, no. I am very slow Mario, but I have places to be in about 20 minutes. Let's go, let's go. Hi, Koopy. Oh, hello, still Ice Storm. Oh, that's right, it's a Shuffleizer, it's not a full randomizer, so it's still gonna be the same stuff each time. So what you see in a chapter is what you're gonna get. Whereas a full randomizer would change it every time you leave the screen. Look, you're the one that says you've been playing Paper Mario on your GameCube, right? Oh no, Paper Mario on the N64. There's this girl in this game, Bo, who's pretty much the cutest boo of all time. Clearly you nev never met Lala or Pika. I think the European version of this, that kid says he's been playing Fire Emblem. And, oh, I got another frame one jump, that's cool. Coops, I'm so slow, please help me. Along. Goombella's like, sure, I'll take a nap, I'm exhausted. <laughs> Say. <laughs> We're all tired. We could all use naps. <laughs> Thinking about that one shirt, my tummy hurts that I'm mad at the government. So, I forget what it is. I'm, I can't remember what the other shirt was. It was something about being gay and voting. Or like, I'm fat and gay and, I'm, and I vote or something like that. I think that might be my favorite, but a close second would definitely be the... Uh... I can't remember. It was a non-binary shirt that was like... Um... I 
I cannot remember it. I know I sent it before, so I'll have to look it up. Bye, Goofy. You're very cute. No, I really don't wanna. I really don't wanna. Stop. 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 No! God. This is where a smart person would be like, well, I guess a masochist would be like, you should have a rule that says you can't run away from battles. But like, I need a little help here. <laughs> this this first chapter is going way rougher than I expected. Yeah, that's useless. Please don't, please don't, please. You're the worst. I hate you, Goombas. Oh, he's got close call P. I kind of want to try and see if I can get that from him. Be cool. I mean, it would go away after this chapter, but it would be nice to have. Yeah. When you know to wait a little bit on the Spike Kumbas, they're super easy to super guard, which is lovely. Okay. And please drop that badge. I would like it. I'd like it much. Oh, he actually did. I'm incredibly impressed. Let's put that sucker on now. They've got such a weird assortment of badges. And I can't even use Power Bounce because Mario's gimped! Cool. Alright, we're just gonna slowly go by you and have zero problems. There's another Koopa. He's totally gone. Oh, he didn't see me. Yes! Yes! Oh, we still- oh my god, we still gotta get through Hooktail's Castle. Oh, and there's a lot of dry bones to deal with. No bones about it. Imagine if I missed one of those stones and I have to go back for them. <laughs> Finale for the stream is definitely gonna be Hooktail, and it's, so much of this has become just atrocious coding and background problems, and just uh, it's fine though. It's fine. I'm really looking forward to the later chapters because we won't have Sloco anymore ever again, and uh, HP drain will be gone. No, FP drain is still in the item pool, so that could definitely happen. And the, uh, the P versions. Alright, there is a free item to get, and we're gonna see how good it is. Please be something good. Please be something good. Oh, it's useless! Oh god, these jumps are actually really hard to make. Ugh. Slow go, no mo. Yeah, there's definitely worse chapters we could have gotten it on, like... Oh, I can't go that way. Like, chapter 4 would have been... Chapter 2 would have been really rough, because it's long. Chapter 4 has a lot of backtracking. 5, 6... I mean, really, any of the chapters is gonna suck on, but... Yeah, I mean... This is probably the worst place it could have happened. Or one of the worst ones. Hold on, let me... Heal her up. Yeah, I know how it works. Thank you. I want coops for right now. Oh boy. I am really unsure how the hooktail fight's gonna go. Oh, coops got up there. I didn't, though. I'm gonna get hit by several Koopas. I'm feeling it. Nope, 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 nope. I swear I pressed A. Guys, I, oh, I'm i really thinking the double health. Maybe double health for an 
Um, okay, I don't, I don't need it. It's a shine sprite. I have no use for it. Okay, what I'm thinking I might do for a best of both worlds situation is do 1.5 times health for enemies and then double for bosses. Because otherwise, the enemies are going to take so long to get through. But in later chapters, I will have no HP drain to deal with, theoretically. Nah, it's not your father, Poops. You're fine. What I might, honest to God, do is... Oh, good God. I might save up at the next point I have and swap the regular enemy health code around because basic Koopas having 8 health is funny but just with what I've currently got it's so horrific. Alright, so you've got 40 now, I think. Which is really there's like nothing I can do about these guys. I can't hurt them. I can't hurt them with Mario. <laughs> Come on. Oh, no, no. I need to guard these. Okay, we're just doing regular guards to be safe right now. Okay, they're done. Thankfully. Mario's just gonna defend. No, I forgot he can make more! This is why the health is an issue. I can only do one point of damage to this guy each turn. And he's going to keep making friends. For the most part, he might just attack, or he'll just keep doing it. This could very well be an impossible fight. <laughs> Come on. Come on! I was actually trying to hit at that time. I'm done. I might as well be using these items. Oh, thank you. Thank you for not making another one. Oops. This is gonna take so long. I can't remember, is this base 10 or 15? Hopefully it's 10. Uh, we need more. Need more FP. We're getting a lot of star points for this though, if nothing else. You know what? I should just be doing those. It's not difficult to uh, hit that super guard. Really wishing I started with Goombella so I could know how uh, we're doing on <laughs> damage. Whoops. Thought that was going for Goose. Whatever. Just whatever. I'm gonna 
conserve my FP in case he builds one in front of himself. I do like... You know what, I should put Mario in front since Mario's gonna be defending anyway. I'm sure this is what everyone came to see, me being in the same fight for 20 minutes. Oh, he's done! Oh, he's done! Oh, but I gotta kill his friends before he comes back. Okay, that's cool. Glad I missed that. Okay, I have to kill the others before he gets back up. That keeps him down, though, if I hit him like that, so... We're good. Too late. Uh, too soon. Yes! Finally! Look at all those star points! 59! <laughs> Alright. What do we level up? What do we level up? What do we level up? We can waste the level up, we can do more MP, we can do health. HP? Okay, HP it is. Remember, I'm gonna reset all my stats when we finish the chapter. So this is all temporary. No, 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 no! Wait, no, you will all probably use your fire flowers. Oh, and I can't kill you on this turn, so no, we're just gonna run. I don't want to take nine damage in fire flowers, please. Oh my god. I hate that I got it this early in the game, but that's... Dude, no, I'm not. I'll get murdered by fire flowers. I don't want to. Hey, cat. No, no, no. Hold on, let's put on our, our new clothes. Wow, I'm shocked I made that jump. Please be good. Yeah, it's a star piece. That's what it normally is. Yay! Oh, figured I wouldn't kill the second time. I didn't let go. I did not let go. What's your problem? I can I even make that jump with slow go? Oh, barely. Good God. Um. Okay, stay. I'm. Holding it. Do not. Do not. Don't do. Thank you. I don't know if I can make this jump. Oh, it's just a star piece. Screw it. I'm not going after it. Okay, it's just a star piece. We have infinity of those. And also, I don't think I can make that jump. How to turn the prologue in Chapter 1 of T2ID into a two-hour-long fiasco. Featuring coding. And many crashes. My GameCube is struggling. Okay. I'm definitely tempted to just be done here, but I really want to get to Hooktail. But we're gonna do our final bout of coding for the day. We're gonna take that off. You know what? I was gonna do 1.5 times enemy health. How about we just leave regular enemy health alone and just have the bosses have double damage, double health? Because otherwise, it's just gonna it's just gonna take forever, and it's gonna be boring to do regular fights, and I'm gonna skip a bunch of them, and it's gonna just gonna be a pain. Now, if I could change their damage, I absolutely would. Okay. 
Good. Only one crash that time. Love it. We love when things work. Yeah. All right. Let's wrap some of this stuff up. Let's fight a dragon. Say hi to cat. Hello. Mo. Oh. A little sleepy. Oh, I'm Luigi. I uh, already have forgotten. <laughs> oh, a bolt shrew, you say? It's not bad, actually. Please don't touch me, please don't touch me, please don't touch me, please don't touch me. Thank you. Oh, I cannot wait to get rid of this infernal badge. <laughs> And what I'll do is, between streams, I'll load the practice codes, delete everything, and uh, reset my stats to level 1. I hate that we're losing the L emblem in Chapter 1, but oh well. It won't be Waluigi, sadly. Unless we get the W emblem in this chapter also. Oh. Oh no, Snatcher was in the box. Bummer. Fools. And I was so terrified of this curse. Terrifying. Hey. Hey, you don't name call. I do kind of want to eat some sandwich. Go! Go through the thing. I think I might actually technically be a little faster than walking sideways. No, 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 no. Okay, everyone's back to normal, so we're actually gonna fight. Except Mario still can't hurt them with jumps, so oh well. Oh, I should have taken that turn to swap Coops out for Boombella. That would have been smart. <sighs> Refreshing. Two, two HP Goombas. Thank God. I feel a little bad swapping back down, but... The bosses are gonna more than make up for it. I'm serious when I say we will have bosses with hundreds of health later in the game. Go ahead and get Coops back out. And I remembered to actually go get the key this time, so let's go. Oh my god, the intense urge to just get rid of Slogo now is driving me crazy. No, no. Here, just, just get rid of them. Never even existed. Oh, swipe out. Sure. I can use that on Hooktail. If I feel like it. No, he didn't have to come towards me. Damageless Mario is really causing me to rethink my life choices. Okay. 
this is definitely going to be a difficult mod for people to find enjoyment in. But hopefully, hopefully it'll work. I'm just so thankful there's only one slow go in the pool. If there was multiple, oh, I would be bending the rules. There's no way I could do another chapter with slow go. That's almost my normal running speed. Pretty sure this actually happened to Fat Guy in his Shuffleizer playthrough. I don't remember if it was chapter one or not, but I remember as a viewer being like, this is hilarious. This is really funny. Too bad this doesn't happen more. And now as a player, I'm like, good God, slow go is the worst. <laughs> the humor of it has very quickly worn off. Okay, what's over here? I think that's actually a debug badge. I think that is actually a debug badge. I think that... Is that tough enough, maybe? I think that's a badge that, like, lets you temporarily raise your defense. I'll have to double check. Well, I definitely have to get it now, because it's not a native badge. And I like that that's a Shine Sprite. I have infinity of those. I don't... I actually kind of regret putting on the infinite Shine Sprite code, because I've gotten, like, four at this point. So they're... Fairly plentiful. Oh, I can stand on the window so apparently. I know I skipped one earlier in the area because I was skipping the Goombas, but whatever. Can't leave the fish alone. No, 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 no. I should have hit him with coops. Not FP. I should have used that heart block earlier. I didn't realize how low we were. It's an ice storm. That's not bad, actually. Ooh, if he drops that power punch, I would be super happy. I might actually have full inventory. I don't think I've got space for it, but we'll see. Nope. No punch. Oh, hotty alert. Mousely Graham, is that you? You're so old, is that legal? It's my favorite Coop's line. Alright, what goodies we get? A coin. Yay. All or nothing P. That's actually really good and a worthless star piece. Oh, I hate that we're getting it this early, but that's actually really, really good. Yeah, we're gonna be using Goombella for the hotel fight for some extra damage, some hammage. Oh, no, I'm good. I don't want to fight you. And if I do the trick. With that tough enough badge, I shouldn't have to go through this whole area again. I'm gonna have to fight a Coop. You know what? No, I meant to hit you with Coops. With Coops. No. I have just enough FP to do one power shell. And Mario can actually do something. He can hammer. Amazing that you have me take power bounce for the first chapter, and then I immediately get a badge that's like, nope. You don't get to use it. Nope. 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 
Yeah, you're down. Oh, I did not think I could hit him from there. I think fixing the enemy health back to normal was the right call, because otherwise I was going to skip like every enemy and that wouldn't have been enjoyable to watch. But the bosses are going to be feature length films. Hooktail's going to be a little easier. Unfortunately, because I did get the attack FXR badge, which I'm halfway tempted to take off just to make her tougher, but that would be breaking the rules of a path lock. I don't believe that. As long as the popcorn isn't overpriced, I'm down for it. <laughs> it's, it's good popcorn. It's like, actually, if you're into it, it's kettle corn. I love me some kettle corn. Or some nice, like, good quality. So, oh, no, no, I want that salty, buttery popcorn. You can get out of here. You can get out of here. Kettle corn's great. Yes! That makes me want kettle corn now. I actually might make some popcorn later today. I I think I'm due for, like, a self-care popcorn and movie day. The only question is I have no idea what I would watch. I watched Judge Dredd uh, yesterday with Caleb, and that was quite the experience. <laughs> Um, okay, so, I've got to be very particular about how I do things here. Ah, uh, no, that's a little too low. That should be perfect. Okay. This is one of my favorite tricks, and I usually mess it up. Why? It used to work all the time, but now it just doesn't. Also, yeah, that was tough enough. Wear this to add tough enough to Mars tactic menu. Use 1 FP to raise defense by 2 points for a turn. Oh, I thought it was only 1. That's such a cool... I can't remember if that's a custom badge that JD Aster made, or if it was a cut badge. I think it's... I think it was actually custom made. It's a very cool concept, because defense is not utilized much in this game. Cat, please leave the fish alone. He's doing literally nothing. I like that extra hearty crunch of cattle corn. I'll probably use Toughen Up like once in the Hooktail fight just to show it off. Since we're not going to see it for very long. <laughs> um, I could fight some more enemies and try to level up one more time before fighting her. I'm probably going to end up being forced to fight some more enemies because I'm going so slow. I can think of like one, maybe two enemies I'm probably going to get run into by. Also, if my trick earlier that I was talking about had worked, I wouldn't have had to come do all this. I would have just ridden back up the little elevator block. But no, it decided to not work. Even though I know I had coops perfectly lined with that block. And I've done it before a number of times. Oh well, would have saved a little bit of time. Who cares? It was mostly for my pride of being like, look, I know how to do cool speedrun tricks. And this is going to be a really good item. Oh. Actually? Oh. You're giving me all sorts of ideas I should not have. Okay. This was another cut item. Trade-off is something that was going to be the game in the game, and Nintendo scrapped. I don't know if they just couldn't apply it the way they wanted to. 
because you can find it in the code for T2ID, but it's like not usable, essentially. It does not do what it's supposed to. Um, but JDA Stir took it and actually gave it the function it's supposed to have, where it raises an enemy's quote-unquote level, which is not ever something you see truly in a T2ID. It's purely like a code thing. Whoops. Um, but it raises their level by 10, which... And, and an enemy's level compared to Mario's is what dictates how many star points they give. Um, kind of like how the higher level Mario gets, the uh, less star points he gets from weaker enemies. And so the trade-off will raise their level by 10, which is a lot. But the trade-off for trade-off is that you also give them plus 3 attack in doing so. Which... I'm going to do on Hooktail, so we can see how many star points we get from her. And also because I want to make it tough. Luigi! What a boy! I had full FP, but it's the thought that counts. Eh. I really should be trying for these bingos more, but I'm just like... Attention span is very small. Also, very large dragon is about to happen, and I want to get there ASAP. And there's a health block coming up, so I don't really need it. And I got HP drain, unfortunately. Um, I think I should theoretically level up one more time before her. Otherwise, I could go fight that other Koopa. I'm not going back. Look how long this takes. This is atrocious. to my favorite part of every TTYD playthrough I do, which is where I get to simp over Hucktail for way too long. Which in this case is going to be longer than normal. Alright, fight me. You cur. Uh, yeah, no, we're definitely leveling up from this. Oh, if he drops that Courage Shell, I'd be down. I mean, I'm gonna use Toughen Up anyway, so it's not like a big deal. No, he's gonna use the Sleepy Sheep. I should have prioritized him. What was I thinking? Please don't work. Okay, it didn't work on Coops. That's who we mostly care about. Since he can literally murder. Yes, all or nothing P. Yes! Oh! Perfect. Literally perfect star points. Alright. Alright, big squeeze. What are we. What are we leveling up? Are we leveling up something that matters, or are we wasting this level up so that Hooktail's tougher? Keep in mind, I can do very little in the terms of actually using FP BP this time. Alright. Alright, that is a throwaway level up. So that our girl has even more potential to body me. Honestly, that's what I was feeling, though, anyway, so I'm down. Okay, let's double check what we've got here. I want Goombella. We've got items. I'm going to use that trade-off. We've got our badges. I'm curious why the full tattle log sheet didn't work. Or code. I definitely put it in, but it's like, nope. Did I save? Yeah, I saved. All right. Best part of waking up is getting to see Hookdale again. Hi, wife. It's very good to see you. I need my dragon drawn like Hooktail. That's what I need. I need Hooktail's model, but me. I need to make this happen. Alright, and bop time. I love drum fills that sound like this. They're so good. Oh, don't promise me a te to Don't give me a... Don't tease me with a bad te good time. Don't... Whatever. Alright. Small dragon obsessed with GF three times their size. For now. Eventually. Same size? Question mark? So that should literally just be the title of the stream. Okay, 40 health. Normally she has 20. So we're going to trade off. Sir, permanent three attack. Oh my god. 
Okay, so I screw. Oh wait, it's not permanent. It's for nine turns. Okay, I screwed up the timing on the guard, which is not great. I really should probably heal. I should absolutely heal, shouldn't I? Mario can take one more of those. It's no big deal. Alright. This is me and my hubris. I want to showcase tough enough. That's a cool icon for it. Hell yeah. Yeah, we know how to super guard those. Get out of here. Does tough enough only work for one turn? Oh, I see why it's only one FP. Um, I also can't hurt her is the problem, but I can use items. If she uses that fire breath again, I'm going to have to, I probably want to go for like a regular guard, but I'm going to super guard because watch this. I pressed it a nanosecond too late. I felt it and I still did it wrong. Uh, we are going to heal, because clearly we need to. Alright, come on, play smarter here. Alright, um... I kind of don't care if Kumbella gets murdered, to be completely honest. Uh, since Mario can't literally do any damage, we'll just have him be item guy. My patch would actually be useless here because I intend to super guard everything. Um, I mean, these are going to get wasted after this fight anyway, so I might as well use them. That's. I don't need it. I haven't used it. I mean, I could use Sweet Tree, I guess, but kind of no reason to right now. Also, I'm excited because it's a tail. Yay! I guess I'll repel Cape Mario just to be on the safe side. Four turns for repel Cape? I don't remember it lasting that long. Didn't work. <laughs> Here, once again, since Mario cannot do damage, he is going to be our, our uh, pack mule. There it is. Knew I could get that. Uh, can I actually do one damage, maybe? Nope, I literally can do nothing. Oh! I forgot! It still activated the cricket sound effect, so that's gonna lower her... attack, I think. Actually... Oh no, it lowers her defense! Never mind. So I can actually do damage with Mario, thank god. I know, I'm sorry, honey, I'm sorry, I don't want to make you queasy. Oh, I pressed it, what, just a second too, too, uh, too late. That's a bummer. Um, her attack has gone back down to normal. I assume her rank is still up. Just a little too late. There it is. See, I'm good at things. Still got that bolt shroom spite pouch that I might as well just waste. Dude, I'm so good at super guards. I'm so good at super Thank you for the free super guard for my 
pride needs. I really no. For the for the joke, I really I really want to say yes to her on this last one. Oh god. It'll kill Gumbella. It'll actually straight up kill Gumbella. Unless she attacks Mario? She might default to Mario, actually. We gotta try it! For the meme! It is Mario. Okay. Had to know. I didn't know if it defaulted to Mario or not. This is a good fight. This is a good boss. And a good fight. So does she get 20 or just 10 still? Not just 10. Poor baby, I know, I'm so sorry. Uh, here, I'll give you some crickets, it's okay. The poor thing, I know, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I didn't feel so bad. I wish I hadn't gotten attack FXR. It's making this too easy. I'm sorry, baby. I love you so much. No. Uh, I mean, I really have nothing I can use those for. I could drag out the fight a little bit longer. Baby, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. It's nothing personal. So many meals. 33 star points. Yep. Thank you, trade off. Not that it really matters because we're going to reset anyway. I'm so sorry. Oh, it should shuffleize the crystal star we get from this also. I think. Dude, McMahon. He's got the blue shell power up from Super Mario, New Super Mario Bros. DS. Hi. Alright, so does it shuffleize the Crystal Star? I think it does. Nope. Now just the randomizer does then. Unless the star got shuffleized into itself, which is totally possible. Well, now we got a head, uh, head, not head, what am I saying? Earth Tremor. So we've got some, yeah, we've got some potential. Mm, there's so many batches I'm about to lose that I'm very sad that I'm losing. And then there's some that I don't really mind that I'm losing. <laughs> Alright, we will... We'll go through the Peach interlude, we'll get back to Rogue Ports, uh, sell off all the badges I've got, sell off the items I've got, and then between streams I will uh, reset my stats back to level 1. I'll probably take a break after this because it is... High time for some food. Oh, I just tossed my phone. Interesting dialogue. Bye. 
there it is. There's our queen. And her other queen sister, and then the one we don't like. God. Let us speed through the peach stuff. I don't think I'm forced to shower. I think I just have to walk in there and then walk back. Yeah, I know what I'm doing. Though Ponytail Peach is pretty cute, so... Oh well. Remember when Hooktail was here? I miss that. I miss that time. Time's now sad, no Hooktail. I'm gonna mellow out with some Brandon Ferris content when I get done with this. <laughs> he always cheers me off. Also, Hooktail calling herself Hooky is really cute when she's like, Oh, don't, don't get queasy, Hooky. Don't throw up all your toads. Oh, she's so good. Oh, she's so good. I need paper may that's done paper mush may oh, uh, eh. also yes actually going back to the other thing you said she's canonically my girlfriend yes she and i are lesbian hooktail is off the market she is mine stay away from her <laughs> no one else y'all can have gloomtail if you want he's he's big daddy energy or bone tail if you're into Bones. Anyway. <laughs> I feel like the internet is sleeping on how cute and good Hooktail is. And how much potential she has based on her dialogue and the things she does. And how she is. Oh. Hmm. Hmm. I didn't save. Oh well, we'll save when we get to Rogueport. Rogueport. Speaking of wives and husbands, <laughs> fight me if you want, but Bowser's taken also. Specifically, I mean, if y'all want 3D Bowser, sure. I pay for the, I love Paper Bowser. Like, his personality, his design, everything about him. Look at my boy! Hi, handsome. Gamby's cute too, but in a different way. Okay, so here's the thing. I have yet to actually watch the movie, just because I don't typically go out to the theaters nowadays. Um, and also, if I did, I would want to go with someone. Jack Black Bowser's hot. Jack, Jack Black Bowser's very hot. I've seen some of the trailers, and Jack Black Bowser is hot. <laughs> He's very hot. His voice does so well as Bowser, and also... His actual movie, like, design is really good. Like, really good. And I gotta find him. I found some edits someone did. Some, like, really comedian. I'm not funny, sir! He's not funny, sir! Um, there were some really good edits someone did, making him significantly wider than normal. And, oh my god. Tommy. Also, the way he crosses his arms is so cute. Oh. Uh, no, I don't wanna... I always forget you can actually breathe fire in here. Hello. Hello. God, I wish you just kind of burned them a little bit. Like, thank you. Your awfulness. Oh. We need more cami content. Just in general. Bring my girl back from the Nintendo vault. Jack Black Bowser, though, is very hot. I like Jack Black a lot already. Love him. He's a great actor. He's really funny. I like him a lot. There's a lot of movies he's in I really enjoy. Um, he does, not only does he just really clearly enjoy the role of Bowser, but God, he does it so well. Oh, he's so good, yeah. And movie Bowser's design is just, there's so many, oh, I meant to say I like eggs, whatever. Um, he's talking about me. I'm Airhead. 
Um, there's just so many, like, hoary faces he makes in the movie, it looks like. Like, swap Luigi and myself, put me in there, I'll be his captive. Also have a nice car. Oh. Struggle a little bit. Your crunchiness wait up. Love Cammy. I like Kamek a lot, but nothing nothing will top Cammy. She's too good. Got a text message. Caribbean jerk chicken? Ah, uh, yes please. Coops, my lad. Okay, chapter one is officially over. If I wanted to be, like, particular about things, I could be like, oh, well, maybe chapter two doesn't start until I get to the screen that says chapter two. This is between chapters, so... Sorry, L Emblem. I hate to make you leave. Oh, thank God. I feel so fast. Okay, this ice storm will get to actually save for chapter two, since we're no longer in chapter one. And this fresh pasta. Look how fast we are! Yeah, oh yeah, they've been marinating for like two days, so I am thrilled to bits. Um, I'll go ahead and sell the other two. Oh, you've got jam and jelly? And head rattle? No, I, I don't need to know how shops work. Sell the spite pouch. Sell the bolt shroom. No, I'm good. I'm going to go to town on some chicken. Like, it's gonna be a massacre. Mini chicken. <laughs> Much chicken. Oh, cool, I got the... I'm really good at getting the frame perfect jumps on these emails, which doesn't do anything for you, but it does for my pride. I like doing things you're not technically supposed to do. Peach is fine, don't worry about her. I'm finally fast enough to get away from these guys. If, if it was 50 hertz, I wouldn't be able to. Alright, let's take one more dry bouquet for the road, I guess. Might as well. Nope, I'm good. I'm good. Fun fact, if you're playing the PAL version of this, uh, you're actually prompted when you first load it up if you want to play in 50 or 60 hertz. Uh, which us Americans probably have no idea about because um, most PAL games on the GameCube you could play in 50 or 60 hertz. Whereas we're... Um, dang it. Whereas we're pretty used to just the typical 50 hertz. Uh, which is what you're seeing here. In 60 hertz, the game is technically running faster, so a lot of the stuff in the game looks slower by default because the rest of the game is going faster. Uh, which is very interesting. But yeah, it will it comes up with this weird, almost kind of like debug menu when you first load it up, and it's like, this game's compatible with 50 or 60 hertz, which would you like? And you're like... You pick the one, and then it loads up as normal. So, depending on which one you play, action command timings will be different. Um, certain enemies will be faster than they normally were. Certain enemies you could run away from before will actually catch up to you, and vice versa. Uh, very interesting. So that's why I have a PAL version of this game sitting around that I can mess with whenever I feel like. But the Shuffleizer works specifically with the... US version, which is why we're on that one. Also, I'm used to 50 hertz, and I miss a lot more super guards when I'm doing 60. God dang it. When I'm doing 60. I, I was about to say I could theoretically do the pit, but that's not happening. Um, the pit's gonna be interesting. The pit is gonna be... Because I want to consider the pit its quote-unquote own chapter. So useless. So it's gonna be hard, because I'm gonna go in with nothing, or 
potentially save some like items. I what I could do theoretically is save some items scattered around in other chapters, um, or road port until I'm ready for the pit, and then gather them up and then go to the pit and be like kind of specific, like uh, strategic about it. But I don't know. I might eventually get to the pit and then decide, nah, let's not make it too difficult and just like maybe pick some badges and items that we've had over the course of the game to use. I don't know. I'll probably save Pit for post-game just to, just to make things easier. Because with double boss health and Bone Tail having 400 health when I get to him, I would hate to go 100 floors down, die to him, and then have to do that all, all over again. So, we might take the cavalry in, fully upgrade to partners. Oh, I don't know if I want to go in with t potentially 10 HP, 5 FP. <laughs> Maybe I'll get to pick like 10 batches I can buy from the shop that I can take with me. And then of course whatever badges or items we get every 10 floors. Oh. Alright, so everything we get now will go towards Chapter 2. Also, I'm guessing this is the gold fuzzy that's in here. Oh, red bones. Oh, I tattled gold fuzzy, that's right. Um, uh, we'll fight you. Actually... No. I'll save him for uh, some star points I'll get once I reset my level and everything. Alright, real fast, let's go sell these badges. I could just delete them out of my inventory with the practice goes, but it doesn't really matter. Whichever way we decide to do it. Oh, the W emblem! So close. Well, actually, he'll have the LMs in tactically now, if I ever wanted to buy it back. Maybe for the final chapter, I'll break my rules and buy the L and W emblems. I just don't think about it, just get rid of them. Don't think about how you're getting rid of really good badges and some really not good ones. Yeah, buy HP drain, good god. And my power bounce that I didn't get to use a single time that chapter. So sad. Bye, Slogo. And by power bounce. I'm also gonna go sell that gold bar because it's taking up inventory space that I don't have space for. Alright, you're the wrong one. You're selling the stake. If it's for anything more than one coin, I'll be really shocked. Um, I can get rid of the dried bouquet. It's useless. It's seven coins for... no, that's hilarious. Uh, he's here. Let's do this scripted portion. Just doing a little bit of like house cleaning and then we'll be good. I need you to order me. I should have done this before chapter one, but I wasn't even thinking about it. I don't even technically need to do it right now. I need it for chapter three. Thank you. I'm curious. I you're technically a shop, but I'm curious what you got. You have return postage. You have the reward from floor 100 of the pit of 100 trials. Kind of incredible. Um, I guess I'll get my 50 coins back that I lost earlier and completely forgot about. Hi, money. Oh, if you don't... Oh, I guess if you don't chase him down 
in the prologue. He just keeps your coins forever. Oh well. Not a big deal. Alright. Um, man, I really want to keep going, but I'm pretty hungry. And I gotta tide myself over until chicken time. Um, and also because chapter 2 is pretty long. I love news. Um, this is fun. I'm really liking this. I'm liking the challenges and everything. And I'm sure I could think of more ways to make it tougher. Um, that was for the thief. You <laughs> I figured. Um, curious how to apply like partner leveling, like ranking, because we've got infinite shine sprites. So like, there's got to be like a give and take sort of like if I want to rank up Goombella or Coops. I have to do flank, uh, but I'm not sure. It could just be as simple as chat decides when slash if slash who I get to rank up. Or maybe at the end of every chapter or pre-chapter, I can rank up one part. That, you know what, that might make the most sense. Pre-chapter, we can rank up one partner. And I didn't count chapter one because I hadn't thought of it yet. So... Or is an option. I can either rank up one of them or not. And then we go from there. So theoretically, if you want either of these ranked up, I can. Or I can wait for another time. If Goombella ranks up, she can use Multibonk, which is essentially Power Bounce. Uh, if Koops ranks up, he gets Shell Shield, which um, gives Mario a shell barrier so that he doesn't take damage for a few turns. Um, well, until the shell cracks. Uh, they can technically rank up another time, but it'll be a while before we can do that. And we are getting a new partner in Chapter 3 as well. So, so there's options. Goombella's ultra rank is really good, because she literally has an ability that just gives Mario two turns, which is awesome. Email Coops gets what fire shield or shell bash or something. I forget. Let's go for Goombella. Sure. Shazibi. Shazubi. God, I think about this any like anytime I hear nonsense words, my brain's like Shazubi. <laughs> She's so happy. Then you may go. Nah, I'm good right now. Coops, we can do next chapter. That we probably won't, because Flurry will probably be a better option. Coops having Shell Shield would be great for the pit. But if we're doing the pit later, then we're not exactly hurting for ranking up Coops. Okay. I guess that's probably good for now. God, I want to keep going, but at the same time, I'm hungry. And also, chapter two would take a while. I might do like a night stream, maybe this evening I'll do a couple hours of more Paper Mario. I don't know. We'll see. See how see how people are feeling. See if I can come up with more challenges to make things harder. I think keeping the enemy health low is good for a start. But now that we don't have HP drain anymore and slow go. It might not be a bad idea to bump them up to 1.5 times, just to make things tougher. But then at the same time, it just makes regular battles drag on. Which makes me more likely to want to run from them, which is boring for people watching. So... I might just leave them as normal. I guess. And then we'll do minimum level up so that the bosses are tougher. But I don't know. We'll see. Thank you for hanging out with me. Thanks for coming by. Thanks for dealing with all of the <laughs> tech issues, the coding, all the weird background stuff. Oh my god. We have two hours and seven minutes of in-game play time, and I've been streaming for almost three hours. So there's almost an hour worth of, like, coding and crashing that's needs to be accounted for. Oh my god. 
All right, I'm out. Uh, text if you want, all that. I'm gonna just... I need to charge my phone, actually. I'm just gonna vibe for a little while, and then maybe do more later. I don't know. We'll see. This is gonna be certainly a VOD that people will probably skip over. Thank you, you too. Bye bye